Hi, welcome back to today's edition of uh, Maths During the Apocalypse with Mr Ward and my esteemed colleague, yeah, Mr Collie. Mr Collie. Yeah. Now, uh, today, we will be learning about <laughs> what we do. Oh, multiplying, <laughs> multiplying numbers by 10, 100, and 1000. So, we're going to be using our place value knowledge here uh, to take shortcuts so that we don't have to use the standard. Um, Written method for multiplication. Yeah, um, and actually, in some ways, that compli over complicates certainly what you've got to do. Um, I really tell my class this certainly that uh, if I see people using column multiplication for these questions, I give them. No, 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 no. Right. Now, here are some columns. <laughs> yeah, here are some columns. As you may recognise, these are very similar to the ones we used during the place value session a few days ago. Um, now, that is because we are going to be using them as place value columns, funny enough. Um, so, let's just fill these in. <laughs> what did you, did you want uh, tens here? Uh, yes, please, tens. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No, it's right, brilliant. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's easy. Okay, okay. You're on your turn, I'll let you go. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> right, so, uh, we've got the number 45 here, four tens, five ones. Um, I've just written up here, uh, D-R-M-L. This is something, a little shortcut that we use, I don't know where you can see it on there, um, to remember, when we're dividing or multiplying by 10 or 100 or 1,000, in this instance, we're just going to start off by multiplying by 10, um, we can use it to remember what we're about to talk about. So, when we multiply by 10, the first thing we do is we look at the number 10. How many zeros has it got, Mr. Colley? One. It's got one zero. So, these digits, are both going to move one place, okay? But before we can move them, we need to know which direction. Are they going to the left, my left, your left, or are they going to the right? Indeed. And that all comes down to, is the number going to get bigger or smaller? So just think about, uh, think about when you multiply, is your answer bigger than the number that you started with, okay? And obviously, hopefully, you should realise that it is. So in this case, things are going to get bigger. Now, that means that we're going to go left. As you can see, the columns get bigger with, as you move to the left. So ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. And the reason why the, the, you know, multiplying by tens and a thousand works so well is because we have a base ten number system, which means that obviously with everything, everything gets ten times bigger the further left you go, or ten times smaller the further right you go. That's right. That sounds so, impressive, doesn't it? Can I move these? Yes, I can. Oh. So I need to move each of these digits one place to the left. So the ML reminds me that multiplying, multiply size with an M, goes to the left. So we're going to move that number four. Oh. <laughs> that number four, one place to the left, and this number five, one place to the left. Oh, but you, you, you're you missing something, Mr. Ward. No, 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 no. the answer is 45, right? You, yeah, isn't it? No, it isn't, because now I've got four in the hundreds column and five in the tens column. So, this column is correct. I'm missing what we call a placeholder zero, to show that we now have zero ones, okay? So now that number looks totally different. Now it looks like... 450. 450. So we have gone from having 45, multiplying by the 10, to create 450. Okay. That's right. Now, if you're savvy and you've got really good eyes, you might notice that that number looks exactly the same with these digits in exactly the same order, but just with a zero on the end. Yes. So when you understand what you're doing, some people will use that as a little shortcut for multiplying whole numbers by ten. But you've got to be careful, it doesn't work with decimals. Yes. What I want to point out, though, is that this four and this five, they're always next to each other. They never change that position. You shouldn't at any point end up with... Let's just move that one over. Shouldn't at any point end up with this. And the reason we're saying this is because we see it all the time. Yes. Okay? So don't just plonk around and zero in anywhere, wherever you like. Those digits have got to stay exactly in the same order. And that actually makes it really easy, because all you've got to do is move one, and then everything else stays in the exact same order. So if you were multiplying a larger number by 10, or 100 or 1,000, then it makes it easier because you can just move one of them and then keep all of the others in the same order so, and add any place on the zero. So how does it work for a hundred, Mr. Ward? Right, well, I can fit there, there we go. <laughs> let's, uh, let's change these numbers as well. Let's start with something like to move the columns as well. I'm going to leave them over there. If you want to do it. Okay, so um, let's try the number eight. 
Uh, do, you, do you know what? Let's uh, let's do one colour. Let's just make let's make those columns. So should we go with eighty six? Eighty six. What a great number. Okay. That's one of my favourite numbers. Eighty six. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good. It's slightly behind eighty seven, but it is. But it is one more than eighty five. I'll give you that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so. This time we're going to multiply it by 100. Now, as you may notice, it has two zeros. And you can make them look a bit like her eyes and her yeah, face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. He looks cross. He does. Right, okay. So now we're going to move these now, because we've multiplied by 100, two columns to the left, okay? One, so we're two. going to get 10 times bigger and then 10 times bigger again. 10 times 10 being 100. That's amazing. It what is, yeah. Uh, so here we go. So we're going to take this 8, there we go, and we're going to move it once, and wait for it, we're going to move it twice! Boom! Okay, <laughs> and now we're going to do the same with the 6, Mr. Warwick, you would do the honours. 1, 2, alright, and the answer is 86! 86! 86, oh wait, 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 wait. place on the zeros. Yeah, so how many tens have we got? Oh, zero. Zero. put a zero in there please. How many ones have we got? Um, zero. Zero again. You're right. There we okay. go. So that number now is 8,600. And just to show you, obviously, we started with 86. So it has moved twice. One, two. And then we have added the place I was on there. And this is showing you how it has changed. OK. So that is what we want you to have a go at today. Yeah. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Not sure that necessarily helps, but there we go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on to the questions. Okay, Mr. Ward, if you would like to take it away. Uh, no, we're actually doing place value today. Ah, uh, take away a few days ago. Okay, so um, what you might want to do here, so we've got the red questions again, just like before. These ones will be slightly easier than the, the black questions. It's up to you. You can multiply all of these by 10, you can multiply them by 100. You could multiply them by a thousand, okay, using the exact same process. You could even choose to do all three, okay? And the answers will be on the next screen when we show it to you in a moment. So, these are your first ones. Have a go at them. Multiply by 10. You can draw out your place value grid if you want to, or um, if you want to do it in your head, or if you want to write it in any other way, then that's absolutely fine by me. Do what you like. So, if you want to pause <laughs> your screen, um, you can ignore this. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's not part of the question. Don't have to worry about it. Pause your screen, have a go working those out, um, and then we'll come back to you with the answer. You do get right? bonus marks if you can tell us what that is, though. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> okay, pause. Right, now we can move on to uh, the slightly more difficult questions. So we've got some questions with decimal numbers here. It's exactly the same, okay? You might need slightly different columns, but the process is exactly the same. Those digits are still going to move the same number of places and in the same direction to the left. Okay, because we're multiplying at the moment. So same again, if you want to multiply them by 10, 100, 1,000. Hey, if you really feel like the big shot, you can multiply them by 10,000 if you want. Um, but the answers won't be on the next screen because we need to <laughs> <laughs> Again, feel free to pause your screen, have a go working those out, come back to us when you're ready. If we go. All right. So moving on, you might need to move back a little bit. Do we want to try and get all these answers yeah. in one go? No, what do we want? Can we do... One side and then the other. Have we got. We can really try it. Up, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, quite long answers, aren't they? Let's go back yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> there we are. There we are. So, um, oh, yeah, there we go. So have a little bit, little bit of a go, marking your own. See if you've got any wrong. See if you can correct them and find out where you went wrong if you have. And we'll move on to the answers oh. for the black questions. Where did you put the fox? It's not behind me, is it? <laughs> the fox is uh, otherwise occupied. No, it's not behind you. Right, there we go. There, those are our answers, hopefully, uh, for the <laughs> black questions. <laughs> and there we are. This concludes our... Uh, this concludes uh, multiplying 10 by 10, 100 and 1,000. Session. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.